Life is good all this month at Appalachian Wireless. Get the LG G5 for just one penny with sign-up or renewal of a two-year service agreement. That's almost $100 off the regular price. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Many rural communities in our region have been experiencing response time issues when the need for emergency medical assistance arises. One such experience that resulted in a Floyd County woman losing her life is receiving a lot of attention on social media. I started calling 911 around 720 that morning. Um, I continued to call 911 um, six times over the next probably hour and 45 minutes in that neighborhood. She told me that she had spoken with them personally. They were keyed up started their engine and en route and their ETA was 38 minutes. That was 30 minutes after my initial call. Somebody had started an engine and were on their way to me and my mom, um, which is ridiculous in my opinion. And that is why I'm speaking out. That is why that um, I turned to social media because I, you know, I know a lot of people in this county and I don't want them to be ignorant like I was that in their time of need, um, the system failed us. Transstar CEO Brandon Spencer commented on the original social media post and expressed his deepest sympathies for the family's loss. He also went on to say that at no point is it acceptable to not have adequate response in your time of need. He also went on to explain the 911 territorial boundaries as set forth and agreed upon by the Floyd County Emergency Management Board in both Left Beaver Fire and Rescue and Transstar Ambulance, the area of incident occurring, of course, in the Left Beaver's 911 response area. Being a nonprofit, Left Beaver Fire and Rescue has very little funding to work with. The only funding that Left Beaver EMS Division receives is the reimbursements that they receive from insurance companies when they take calls. There's no tax money, there's no supplemental money from the county or the state that, that we receive to supplement the revenue that we generate. Once you receive a call, you have within five minutes to go what they call 10-8 or en route to that call. If you don't have an available unit to go 10-8 or en route to that call, you notify the dispatch center and they roll that call over to the next available ambulance. Reporting from Floyd County, I'm Sean Allen for EKB News.